one of the problems with plasma tables is they're dirty bastard things. They're basically vaporising steel and you get horrible nasty fumes that come off it. You can't not have it. What I've done, I've got a big extractor fan in the wall there. In the table design, I have a water table below it. That's a trough that holds water, which does kill a lot of the smoke. One of the problems I've got is I don't use the table that much and the water keeps evaporating. Now I have got a big booster fan, a welding extraction fan, I'll show that. And what I'm going to try and do is mount it below the table so it pulls a lot of the smoke away outside. That in conjunction with that fan there should hopefully make life in here a lot more pleasant. Um, you don't, it's, it's in a small shed and I don't actually want to be in here when it's cutting, uh, which is fair enough, but what it's doing is depositing horrible black everywhere. It, uh, I need to do something to try and control uh, some of the muck. I'll get the fan, show you how that works, and basically show you my idea for making a downdraft fan on this table. This is the fan, 240 volt, third of a horsepower. It's got a fair bit of suck. I'll turn it on. Put this plastic duct on, I mean it really does. It really does stop. This is the 8 inch duct. My idea is to make a top hat to go on here. Cut a hole in the bottom of the water table and mount that so it pulls the smoke down through. Probably put a hole in the wall and have that going straight outside. So the first thing I need to do is make a flange for that. So if we measure round the outside of there then I can cut a strip, roll a ring and then cut a flange out to, uh, to make the top out with. Basically, 625 mil around there. You could use Pythagoras and work it out, I suppose. A piece of oxy bottle which is just slightly bigger than 250 but it's going to give us a start to, to get this bent I well, measured that right. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be good. If I weld these together, then I should be able to top it into a, into a circle. It's not bad there actually.
put a, a bigger ring and we'll make it outside 300. Go to the cut and just done in this half of the table, so I'm going to put this slightly towards the side of the centre. I'm hoping I can drop the torch far enough down to be able to use a plasma cutter to cut the to cut the circle. I'm sure I'll find out. Put that all the way down. Yes, we can. So I do a drone, probably make it a 220 mil circle, so that drops through with plenty of room. And we'll cut a hole in it. Right, this is galvanised, so I'm going to have the fan running. Most that fan's running as well. You'll see how much crap it actually sucks out. That's not nice. So that plasma table is going to eat itself now. up on there, you can see up any sparks going down there, but that should pull a lot of air through. I'm not before to get into the fire. I'm just going to weld some little tags on here, just so that when I clip the pipe on it won't drop straight off. It'll not take much. Basically that'll do four of those. Top of yours, it appears to be going quite nicely. That's it, that's pretty good. A big horse clip will be ideal around there, but I haven't got a, a big horse clip, so I think I'll be settling for some big cable ties.
Look at that bastard, just too short. Typical. I don't know what we did before. Cable ties came along. It's going nowhere. Right. If this is work, I can sure put a patch in there and go about using the water, but I think this should work quite well. Put some standoffs on the end, another plate across the top. Hook the fan up and give it a give it a try. I think I've put an old garden sieve in there with a baffle plate to stop any big bits going down, so it doesn't burn the plastic pipe. I'll give that a try and see what happens. There are gaps around the side of the table that I'll have to fill in. But we'll give it a try and see if it actually see if it actually works. This is. Four mil brass plate, it's one of the stuff they put because all the zinc comes out of it. I'm going to try and see how much of the smoke actually gets pulled away. I'm going to make some covers for this to try and concentrate the, the suck on the vacuum or on the engine. Okay, let's give it a try. I'll cut another one without any extraction or at all and see how far the can get. Right, that's not pleasant at all. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a lot of crap coming out of that. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Anyway, thanks for watching.